you will realize that uh, this is a white man's setup. Mm -hmm. And the only one way you're going to beat him is uh, in the scriptures. Get, get a, I say, 33 and 6. Mm -hmm. Come with now? Yeah, 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 because I'm going to show, show them this scripture. This is the powerful scripture of now. This is what we got to be into now to overcome and, and be part of the elect. Mm -hmm. what I was telling you about. Yeah, Isaiah 33 and 6. This is this is a wonderful scripture only because it just shows you the stability of knowing the most high. Mm -hmm. And this is a scripture that does play us. Right, Isaiah 33 and 6. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Mm -hmm. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you know you're gonna see. It. Uh, when, the, when this truth is really, like I said, the stability of thy times. Right, Meaning when this economy falls, mm -hmm. and there's a famine out here, right. there's martial law, mm -hmm. that's when you're going to see the real value of this truth. Because right. mm -hmm. everybody else, they're going to lose their mind. Right, mm -hmm. They're going to be turning to and fro, they're going to know what's going on, mm -hmm. they don't know what to do. Because they weren't preparing themselves for it. Wasn't that's right. That's right. right. Saying? Just like when the flood came with Noah, what happened? Everybody wanted to get right, banging on the door. Yeah. But it was too late, man. They made fun of it. Too late yeah. is my crop. Yeah, it's <laughs> too late. And the most, you can't play the most high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't just try to repent at the last second. No, the most high ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you will have some people that will come in the 12 hour. I mean, there's a scripture on that. Yeah. But for the vast majority of people, it's going to be too late. There's uh, ones that are, you know what I mean? There's only that can pull it. That's why the scripture says, yeah. don't make tallying. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Please like ask these are five. Like seven. Yeah. Don't make tallying and serving the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. right. See, uh, you were here last week when I was here with the brother. You see, he, we were able to stabilize the conversation because. This brother knew nothing about the scriptures, and everything he was talking about was what he thought was right, not what he used mm -hmm. to say. See, nor can he use the scriptures to back up what he said. Yes, I do. <laughs> he said yes, I do. Huh? So anyway, yeah, I just asked him to speak English. Yeah, yeah, I know the brother's story. Oh, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? What's what's your nationality? I'm Mexican. So you're, no, you're, it's, you're, it's, you're, I just you're, saw myself over there. Yeah, you're Issachar, right? Issachar. You know that? Yeah. yeah. So but your people are talked about in the scriptures and how they yeah. can read the stars of the heaven, the Aztecs. Mm. You know right. what I'm saying? And the scripture says Issachar will be a servant to unto all nations because mm. they're known for their worth ethics. Yeah. I know, you know, I know a lot about those guys. Mm -hmm. The reason why, because it was written that all 12 tribes will come on this side of the world and we'll all serve slavery together. But in the last end, the Most High was going to bring the elect of these people together, man. And yeah. you're going to see that in the in the coming days. Mm -hmm. You see, these white people showing their hatred, especially with uh, this fool named uh, Donald Trump. Oh, it's, come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, watch it. Watch it for the Yeah, five, yeah. six. Uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. It says, These twelve Yahweh Shah sent forth. And commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, and to ye not, which are the other nations. Mm -hmm. Verse 6, But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which are Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. The reason why we lost, because what? Well, we got discontinued from our heritage. Mm -hmm. Alright? That's right. right. Verse 7, And as ye go, this is the point, Preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's the goal. That's the message. So I'm saying the scripture says the kingdom was prepared for, it was prepared for us even from the beginning. But in order for us to receive those things, we have to go through trials and tribulations. We have to go through hell first. So Let me ask you a quick question. Right. Why did they why why was it allowed for the North Indians, North American Indians to be uh, slaughtered, slaughtered like that? Well when you read the prophecy on Gad, it says Genesis the 49th chapter. Mm -hmm. It says um Gad um it said a truth shall overcome it, mm -hmm. but he shall overcome in the end. Which, which was the American Calvary. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of Andrew Jackson? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Andrew Jackson was known as the Indian killer. Yeah. You know what he's playing? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah. He was known as the Indian killer. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And the reason why they went down Gad too is because they were going off, man. They were going way off, man. But they were living off the land. They were living off the land. They, they kept the garments like I got yeah. the garments. They kept the land savage, but they started going into pagan deities. You ever seen that movie um, where Mel Gibson did um, uh, um, Apocalypto or something like that? Where he was going into the Aztec Indians? 
Oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. You see the things that they were doing on this yeah, side? Yeah, When they were sacrificing their own people to the sun god? Right. They were doing the same thing when you read 2 Kings 17 chapter. Right. They were sacrificing their um, children to pagan deities. Right. And they made a oath for the Most High, we're going to come on this side of the world and we're going to change. But they started doing the same things that they were doing before. That's why the Heavenly Father allowed oh, Esau to come down here and man. take all of us down. Well, I did read that, but I didn't understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did read it, but I didn't understand it. So uh -huh. same thing with the Gadites. They were born mm -hmm. into different, all kind of different gods. They started right. worshiping the elements. Right. But it was already uh, predestinated that that would happen. Mm. So same, matter of fact, let me get the prophecy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now uh, people all messed up in their philosophy. Mm -hmm. Completely, completely messed up in their philosophy. <laughs> See, so. God, God. All people are messed up in their philosophy. Genesis chapter 49, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which that which shall befall you in the last days. So he's going to tell what's going to happen to the 12 tribes mm -hmm. in the last days, and that's the days we're living in right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is the point I want to bring out about Gad, about the native Indians yes. that you have. Gad, a troop shall overcome it. Now, who is a troop? Esau, the Esau, white man. Esau. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's what you had. The um, the Trail of Tears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else you had? You had, um, uh, there was another battle where they got slaughtered, man. Mm -hmm. And we all know about the Alamo and all those yeah. different things, you know what I mean? But, um, uh, where they had them walk from Oklahoma to uh, uh, Florida, Bigfoot, right. the trailer. Oh, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Geronimo. Yeah. Yep. Geronimo was a warrior, man. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. But that, that was a good brother. Yeah. But he shall overcome at the last. Mm -hmm. That's why we got the 12 tribes signed. Mm -hmm. Because we were commanded to have a stick for Judah and his brethren, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and um, Joseph or Ephraim and his brethren, which are the 10 tribes. And in the last days, the Most High is going to bring all 12 mm -hmm. together, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it means he shall overcome in the end. You know what I'm saying? Because the brotherhood was seven. But now you see all 12 tribes gathering mm -hmm. together again. Mm -hmm. All right? Then a precept. Isaiah, chapter 11. Isaiah, chapter 11, right. verse 13. Right. Yeah, we're going to talk, man. All right? Let me get let me get some yeah, some yeah, some knowledge yeah, so then when we talk when, when we when we talking tomorrow we, we we can we can beat each other up on that. Alright? Alright bro. Alright, alright. Isaiah chapter eleven verse thirteen. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, Gad. I'm a fact, I'm a Come again, brother. Gad was a lawgiver. Mm -hmm. They were very powerful. They were of the law givers. Mm -hmm. For the nation of And they were warriors. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. I'll right. Talk to you. First Chronicles chapter First Chronicles. 12. Verse 8. It says, And of the Gadites, they have separated themselves unto David into the hole to the wilderness, men of might. So the Gadites and native Indians yeah. were men of might. They were warriors. Yeah. This proves that they were the Gadites. It says, Men of war fit for battle and could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions. Yeah. Faith, what do you mean in face? Because Esau, where he get his, um, see where they blend in with the shadows mm -hmm. and they could um, snipe people. Yeah. They got that from the Gadites. Yeah. It says face where the face of lions, mm -hmm. you know, before they go to war, yeah, they, they put, they, they, they put the pin on the war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That goes back to the ancient mm -hmm. world. Those are the Gadites, yeah. the native Indians. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Read that again. It says, and the Gadites were separated themselves unto David into, into the hole to the wilderness, men of might and men of war fit for battle that could handle shield and buckler whose faces were like the faces of lions and were swift as the rose upon the mountains. Because mm -hmm. they used to hunt buffaloes on foot. Mm -hmm. You talk about Geronimo. I mean, you know, they always got myths behind every character. Yeah. But they say he could dodge bullets. I mean, I don't believe that. Nah. But but that's how bad they were, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? You got me hyped, man. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to go home and read my Bible, man. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at it in a different... Yeah. All, all the tribes of Israel had, had characters. 
Holding the character. Mm -hmm. Whatever you see with Gad, you go to Judith, they had characters. Mm -hmm. Every time had characters. Mm -hmm. right. That's what I looked up like. Our people. All of them, you knew they were Israelites. Mm -hmm. But they had characters. Yeah. Like what tribe are you from? Huh? What's your father? My dad, he's from uh, Alabama. Oh, okay. Okay. So right. he's originally from. Yeah. Uh, so he's a Judah, and like the scripture says, Judah is would be the praise of all his mm -hmm. brethren. You know what I'm saying? The so-called Negroes are trendsetters. Like whatever a Negro does, everybody. So that's why when the lady was saying. looking at me, she was she she looked at me and she says, "You look like the Lion of Judah." And she right. just telling me that all the well, time. You know, that's the main symbol for yeah. Judah's and Lion. All right. Let me read um. Before you read, can I say this? You know when you all came downstairs to, to, to the cafeteria? Yeah. Remember that time? Well, all those people down there said said to me, Mr. Shepherd, who, who, who are those people? I said, that's my brother, those are Israelites. She said, those are the Israelites? I said, those are the Israelites. But the main thing is, you see, we had a vibration down there, because what you all don't know is everybody was listening. Everything we were doing, as we, we, we did the reading, Everything. So let me ask you something. Well, and and they know now. I can um, they, like, they know now that I'm an Israelite. You don't take contribution. They, they see me with the money. Yeah. And a lot of the no, no, but you know, like they you know, say, same say, way, like you know, you give your tithes, you know. Because you know what? We did not. Uh, no, no, but you know, but I can't give like a tithe. Ourselves, you give it to the poor in the name of the most high. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, that's that's actually yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, no, but you know. Listen, man, you know, it ain't no matter, you know, everything takes money. All this takes money. You being out here, drinking the water, everything, everything. Okay? I told him I was like, do something stupid with it. I give him some money. And that, 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 that extra thing, you can get extra energy. Educate another brother like me. But, but okay, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, um, I usually, like, when I give money, I usually give it to the elders of GMS. You see the signs? Can you see the brothers on 34th Street? Yeah. The elder brothers? Yeah. The top brothers? Uh huh. I usually sell money. I usually sell money. So, how can I get, like, a, uh, how can I get so I can uh, send something to them? I, I give you their PayPal. Hmm? I give you their PayPal. So PayPal? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, you right. just, you just walk past and give them the money. Oh, but I okay. usually yeah. always say, you know, I would never accept. No, 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 yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm not trying to yeah. say yeah. No, 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 it's a beautiful thing. That's no, the same yeah. thing. Take care of The scripture says it's better to give than to receive. Yeah. yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Well, you're giving knowledge, brother. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you know, I'm reading the book and, and, and I'm understanding it somewhat. Not all the rules. Now, now, it ain't saying that I'm not trying to not follow the rules, right. but if you don't understand it. Right, right, right. You understand? Right. Yo, you might think you're following the rules and you might not be following the rules. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Because the book needs to be interpreted. Right, there you go. And that's why, and that's why you got to have teachers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm prove it. Uh, Acts 8. Forget <laughs> Acts 8. If I, if I get the Colossians 2 and 8. Acts chapter 8, verse. So Acts 8. I'm going to find the scripture later. Mm -hmm. It goes into um, Philip and the Ethiopian unit. There we go. Acts chapter 8. Like you said, you need teachers. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 8, verse 27. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, and mm -hmm. a eunuch of great authority, under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians. All right. He was an he was a, a, a Israelite. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, who had the charge of all his of her treasure, and come to Jerusalem for to worship. Mm -hmm. was returning and sitting in his chariot read Isaiah the prophet then the spirit said unto Philip go near and join thyself to the for this chariot you know Philip is one of the twelve yeah and Philip ran hither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said understand this what thou readest so Philip ran up to the Ethiopian eunuch and said you understand what you read and this is what he said uh. and he said how can I except some man should guide me 
So he understood he needed what? A teacher. A teacher. That's right. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Okay? So, like he knew you needed teachers. Like yep. the most I said. An interpreter. Like, yeah, yep. I would give you pastors according to my heart. Yeah. Which I'll feed you knowledge and understanding. Uh, That's what the scripture says. Whosoever shall call in the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Also, you call, me, call on him and said he believe. I should believe on him and you hear. Mm -hmm. and how can you hear unless they be what? Preachers. Preachers. That's and right. And how can they preach except they what? Be sent. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So we are sent out here to teach. Right. To gather the elect. You know yeah. what I mean? So you do need teachers. We can't get this. Absolutely. Problem, man. But we, we should be given with our philosophy. Not really. Mm -hmm. uh, let me read the scripture for the, for the brother one to read. Colossians mm -hmm. 2 and 8. This scripture will tell you. The scripture talks about um, don't let no man spoil you through philosophy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And rudiments of this world. That's right. Rudiments mm -hmm. of this world. That's, that's, a, that's a deep scripture. Because it's, it's the scripture talks about the rudiments of the world. Right from the beginning. Colossians chapter 2. I think I'm missing that. Oh, that. My Bible. Colossians 2 and 8. Beware, unless any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of this, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Yahweh Shai, which you call Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Anything outside the truth is a rudiment of the world. Mm -hmm. Every religion, every philosophy, Egyptology, mm -hmm. Afrocentric, we're not none of that. Those are philosophies. Those right. are man-made philosophies. Right. Right? Remember the philosophy of Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Starting with your nationality. Right, right, right. Before you can learn anything else, you have to learn about yourself. You got to know yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like I say, yourself. knowledge yourself, man. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You all got to be conscious, man. Absolutely. You know what that scripture says, be aware? That's the warning. Mm -hmm. That's warning. Not to get into that. So. That's what's so great about mm -hmm. that. Now I'm going to get some topics. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to get into some topics. Alright. Well, let me get that yeah. beef out of here. Yo, yeah. I got my little knowledge for the day. And I can't wait for Sunday after work. And we're going to be battling at the, for the football games. <laughs> we gonna be talking. Yeah. We gonna be talking about you, brother. Oh, yeah. But that's good. That's you know good. Right? King she says, uh, receive meekness, a grafted word, mm -hmm. is able to save your soul. Yeah. So that's good. You came here because what you, the scriptures we pull, you will never learn in church. Yep. Ever. Mm -hmm. you see because they don't know the scriptures. Man. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, and they're not teaching the scriptures. They were taught not to. Yeah, they, they only read what they want to read. They don't read them. Yeah. I, you see, one thing I like with you brothers, you brothers delve in everything. And that's that's what I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was um, they was telling me before I leave, they was telling me about on uh, Tuesday that passed was uh, the time to uh, be in the thing. The um, that Israelite they had an Israelite class, you know. But they told me the brothers told me they said, listen, if you up and down, up and down, then you know, cause you got to give your all to it, you know, don't come into it yet. Until you're ready, right. Right? right? So, all right. right. And they say you guys are, are, are serious brothers. And I yeah. like that. Yeah, you gotta count the cost. Man. Mm hmm Like Yahweh Shai said, before you come into this, you gotta count the cost. That's Luke 16, chapter. Yeah, one. yeah. Don't lay the foundation and have it half built, and then you fall out. Mm hmm if You fall out. Most yeah. I gonna deal with you. Oh, don't do, don't, when don't. you come into this, whether you know it or not, you make an oath. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that. You make that. your body a living sacrifice. Yeah, I know that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you got to consider, yo, do I really want to be down with this thing? Yeah. Because you're going to be ridiculed. People are going to come up uh, against you. And your life is... Absolutely. Your people brought it, we're going to finish it. Look at the tail. <laughs> it's in the tail. Talking about you preaching hate. This whole society was built off hate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, but he's just yo, a devil yo, anyway. Yeah, that's always tell, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But before you come into this, yeah, man, yeah. let me get a precept. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Luke 14, verse 27. It says, And whosoever doeth not bear his cross, not the because Catholics actually use that scripture mm -hmm. to justify them wearing a cross. Mm -hmm. now, a cross is, represents affliction. 
mm -hmm. that tries your steadfastness, your virtue, and your patience. Right. So the Lord is saying, when you really truly come in to serve me, you're ready to bear your cross. Mm -hmm. You're ready to suffer. You're ready for your life to change. Right. All kind of things that never happened before, you're gonna start experiencing. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You may start getting sick, not feeling well, demons start attacking your mind. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. To have you go off, to shake you. Oh, that's a negative. Because we all You're got strong, bro. Now, well, don't say that, brother. Uh, you know I, what I'm saying? I got it. Got it. I know you cocky, brother, bro. Yeah. But yo, I, trust me. I, yo, yeah, you I, got it. You got it, yeah. made because. <laughs> so, man, even Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, he told uh, Peter, he said, Simon, Simon, Satan desired to sift you as wheat, mm -hmm. but I'll pray for you, and when you overcome, strengthen your brethren. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Pass it on. Yeah, because Satan yeah. himself tried to move, move the Lord off yeah. the circle. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because those that's what a demon is. What a demon is, demons tap into your negative desires. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The dark they, side. Right, and they try to make you a reprobate. Yeah. All right, but I'm going to keep reading this. Yeah, yeah. It says, I like that. For which are you intending to build a tower? This is the point I want to bring out. Mm -hmm. Sit if not down first and count if the cost, whether ye have sufficient to finish it. You want to fully come into this? You got to think about it. The most I said, when you come to ready to serve him, it's going to try you. Yeah. It's going to put you through that fire. Bring it. You know what I'm saying? Bring it, man. Okay, bring brother. It, man. Bring it. Trust okay, you, man. Okay. <laughs> For which, um, Verse 29, let's happily, after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, mm -hmm. all that behold it begin to mock him, man. Mm -hmm. So if you fall out this truth, you're going to get mocked, man. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, above all, you're going to receive what? That fire. Mm -hmm. See? The most high is the ultimate mafia above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't turn your back on it. Yeah. Absolutely. Verse 30, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish on the next pass. Anyway, verse 31. On what king going to make war against another king sitteth not down first and consulted whether he will be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000. Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sent an ambassador and desireth conditions of peace. Mm -hmm. So likewise, whosoever ye be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Man, that's... Mm -hmm. That's That's... that's, that's so the Lord saying, yo, because... I mean, you know, we don't got to go into our personal story. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all went through... Everybody went trials. I mean, trials I could, and tribulations. I go through my testimony, yeah. man, and then most I always bailed you out, but it took yeah. time, man. Yeah. Because when I first came into this, I used to hear the elders always talk about catching hell. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I never. Things was going good for me. I was like, I never experienced no hell. I was hell. My job, my money was up. Yeah. Making yeah. bread. I was like, I don't know what them brothers uh -huh. talking about. But when I separated from a main camp. Mm -hmm. And we started doing the work. All of a sudden, I started losing jobs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just started changing. People started looking at me different. And that's when the trials started coming in. Left hand for the heathen. All right? Left hand for the heathen. <laughs> okay. All right, man. Get out of here, man. So, so you're going to go through those trials, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like the Lord said, if you're not able to forsake all, you can't be his disciple. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So... I don't know that, brother. But what's the benefit? We know what 99.9% .9 of people on the planet Earth don't know. Mm -hmm. What's that? The truth. Yeah. We have the name of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Like last week, we battled in this demon, man. This guy was a real mm -hmm. demon, and he was proud too, man. I was a proud, <laughs> wicked dude, man. He up here trying to argue with us uh -huh. on that some guy in Harlem by the name of Tazadakia uh -huh. is the comforter. He's the comforter. I don't know if you ever seen them guys with the red and white. Yeah, I saw those guys. They teaching that some man is the God sent comforter. Mm -hmm. And that you have to come through him in order to learn the knowledge of the truth, man. And so we, we cut him with the scriptures. And that guy talking about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And I'm like, hold on. Tazadakia is not an English name. Mm -hmm. That's a Hebrew name. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
the elders, the men that taught you, their names are in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So how's the Messiah name in English? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That don't make no sense, man. Mm -hmm. So what it is, them guys up there, they must have pulled them to the side and told them, listen, don't 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 call on that name. Right. Because they understand that there's power in the original tongue. Yeah, that's in the, the tongue, that's right. The that's most high right. wants to hear his name in the Hebrew. original tongue, Hebrew, man. And I'm gonna show you how important it is. I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna show you. Zephaniah three and nine. It says, um, Where I'm going. Is that right? Those little scriptures are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zephaniah 3 and 9. There we go. It says, this could turn in the last days, which is root start. Yeah. This is now. Mm -hmm. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. What's the pure language? Hebrew. Mm -hmm. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Mm -hmm. So, we're not going to be saying a name in Hebrew. He's saying it in Greek. He's saying it in English. He's saying it in German. Everybody's going to call on the name of the Lord in the pure language, which is right. Hebrew. Now, let me ask you something there. I'm glad you brought that up, right? Now, they talked about the Tower of Babylon, right? Now, after that fell, right, the Lord did what? He made, he made different languages. He made everybody so man cannot... Yeah, they you know, yeah. get together and create a tower to touch touch the heavens, right. right? Now, this country, everybody coming to this country, right, of different tongues, but they must learn one tongue, which is the English tongue. Yeah, that's so, the common language. Right, that's the common language. So now, is history going to repeat itself with the towers falling, of with course. this falling? Because this is Babylon. Like you see the yeah. uh, the one they call it the uh, one world trade tower. Mm -hmm. It's one thousand seven hundred and seventy six feet high. Mm -hmm. the tallest building in North America. Yeah. This place that's why the scripture says about Esau, his his habitations is high. Yeah. Because he go back to the caves. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, he's a cave dweller. Yeah. All this shit that's like high. like Shah said, well he talking to the disciples in Jerusalem, but we could apply that to him. Yeah, all these tall buildings and skyscrapers, mm -hmm. they gonna burn, man. Mm -hmm. And that's abominable anyway for you to have some high point to the law. Yeah. You ain't supposed to have nothing over, I think it was over three stories. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right, All right. that's abominable, man. Right. You see, and what they try to do in the old ancient world with Nimrod, mm -hmm. they doing it today, man. They mm -hmm. try to bring everybody, like you said, to come together mm -hmm. to have a tower to go to the heavens. Mm -hmm. And the white man has done it. Yes, and he has even he has even went out to space. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But the most I said I shall bring thee down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, up in the book of and that's why now it's um explain? Yeah, it's great. It's great, brother. I wanted to get to CERN real quick. Mm -hmm. Tell you what CERN, CERN is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. The it's called the machine is called the Large Hadron Collider. It's the world's largest and most powerful particle collider. The largest, most complex experimental facility ever built. This mm. machine, mm. and the largest single machine in the world. It was built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, called CERN. Sorry. Between 1998 and 2008, in collaboration with over 10,000 scientists and engineers from over 100 countries, as well as hundreds of universities and laboratories, it lies in a tunnel 27 kilometers in circumference, as deep as. 175 meters beneath the Franco-Swiss border. So this big machine is underneath the Franco-Swiss border called CERN. Mm. It's a particle collider. Mm -hmm. You know they talk about the Big Bang? Yeah. How the Most High created something from nothing? Yeah. That's what they're trying to do with this um, mm -hmm. machine. So that's how we know this man is at the end. Because he's trying to be the Most High. Yeah. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It says... um. Now what that machine does, it's supposed to divide time and space and create an interdimensional doorway. Mm. So spirits could come in, man. Right. Like I showed you with that um that uh the cube in these the cube, movies. Right, yeah. The Avengers, Transformers, yeah. Hellraiser. The Hellraiser. Yeah. yeah. And, and through through them playing with that cube, yeah. Yeah. spirits was able to come in. Yeah. Well that's what they're gonna do with this new world order. They understand everything starts Esau like to push this atheist bullshit. 
they know that there's higher powers. Mm -hmm. They pray to demons, man. Mm -hmm. And they understand that everything starts from the spiritual realm. Right, right. Before somebody die here, it starts from the spiritual realm. Well, the demons man. is the fallen angels. So that's who they pray to. Well, I'm going to take it further. We're, we're really the, uh, well, that's a deeper topic, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, these people here, they, they understand, I mean, the elites of the society, they understand that everything starts from the spiritual realm. Right? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's why they worship these demons behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why they had you had people said uh, they uh, uh, they they draw like the pentagram on the floor. Yeah, yeah. And actual demons come up and tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They consult with spirits, just like the Egyptians and the Babylonians. Yeah, they do. It's it's just, it's, it's the old world order. It's mm -hmm. nothing new. You know what I mean? Freemasonry is witchcraft. Yeah, that is. That's witchcraft. all that is, yeah. man. Yep. Nothing new under the sun. Yep. Nothing new under the sun. Yep, that is witchcraft. I, so I can prove that. I'm going to read, uh, and like I said, before they do it, and they're doing it a couple of days before the last blood moon, mm -hmm. before they do their whatever, try to open a portal, mm -hmm. the Pope going to come here and give his blessing. Now I'm going to um, read a scripture. Job 20, Ezekiel 28 and 2. Mm. So I'm on top. Cut, cut. Job 20. Verse 5. It says that the triumphant of the wicked is short. Who's the wicked Esau? He's the border of wickedness according mm -hmm. to the book of Malachi. It says it is short. It seems like a long time, but in the eyes of the Most High, it's short. It says, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Though his excellency mounts up to the heavens. You see Clay, he went out there to the moon. Mm -hmm. He has satellites at home at the planet Earth. Who's that talking about? That's him. Mm -hmm. It says, And his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as the vision of the night. Mm -hmm. Bring this point out. It says um, about his new world order. It says, uh, oh, here we go. Verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency. That's coming in. You ever read the book of Revelation? It says, mm -hmm. um, you that dwell on the planet Earth, the devil coming down with great wrath, knowing that his time is short. Mm -hmm. That's talking about Esau. Mm -hmm. Esau come down with great wrath from martial law to chip mm -hmm. and the economy a crash. Mm -hmm. The Bible says when he's about to fill his belly with that new world order, it says, um, um, they shall, uh, where was that? When he's about to, when he's about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast down the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eaten. He shall flee from the iron weapon, mm -hmm. the nuclear missile, mm -hmm. and the bow of steel shall strike him through. So when he think he fully gonna set up his new world order, that's when he's gonna get hit. Like the scripture said, when they say peace and safety, that's when he's gonna get sudden destruction. Because he knows he's going down. But why don't, what, what, yo. Close the road. Yeah, close the Yeah. Set, set your nest yeah, I was gonna bring that out. Yeah, I was gonna bring that out. Cause I have a couple of scriptures I was gonna bring out. But then the Lord put uh, Esau over us because we didn't follow, uh, our our forefathers didn't follow the commandments. So, so if the Lord bring Esau out of the caves, right and 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 he and and he were our slaves right and now and and now and now we're his slaves right because of punishment and now he knows that time is coming that we have to take back our command okay brother right? you you've been listening yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay <laughs> get it get it yeah. you know, yeah, you know, paying attention you brother. Know, i like yo, that why why yo why don't he just humble himself and so can i have my rule and let me just take second place you would never do that mm -hmm. brother. Mm -hmm. like that's like saying what king want to step down from his throne mm -hmm. yeah. no can, king can i read this right there mm -hmm. second mm -hmm. and the 13th verse and therefore be thou not curious of how the only your holiday shall be punished don't be curious how you're going to be punished mm -hmm. only lord knows how he's going to punish absolutely you. right yeah. now and when and when that punishment, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Who, whose world this is, and for whom this world was created. 
great fun. Well, it's great, but anybody else should be a woman ship, which, see all you see, wouldn't even be here if we would have done the right thing. Yeah. None of this would have been here. Yeah. Well, that's, it'd be a whole different yeah. understanding of Well, that's, a, that's, that's our forefathers. Yeah, well. So we, well, we, we, we are paying for our father's sins. Well, you have to put it right? this way, but look. Aren't we? The, yep. No, but put it in, in the purpose of the Lord. Mm -hmm. In the Lord, in, in the second entry, 430, mm -hmm. he planted a wicked seed in Adam. Mm -hmm. so see, he had a purpose for the wicked. Mm -hmm. And we had to cultivate that which you were talking about in order for it to, to come to pass. Because we had the power of choice. I know, but, but, but listen. No, the, I'm we had the power of choice. But, mm -hmm. but from what I'm saying, see, uh -huh. I'm see the about. wicked seed was cultivated by us through our misdeeds toward the Most High. Everything we did was wrong in the eyes of the Most High. Mm -hmm. It got worse and worse and worse. So you see, the wicked seed planted in Adam from the beginning was the purpose of the Lord. Mm -hmm. see, we either follow his laws and do it right, just like Moses said when he came down from up, you either follow the Most High or you become expendable. Yeah. See, so that's the end of it. Like you see? Mm -hmm. so, so you see, we either follow the Most High or we become heathens and we're expendable. Mm -hmm. What was that? Like you have, um, like you know the God, the word God in Greek. The word theater comes from Theo. Mm -hmm. That's also the word God in Greek. Yeah, Theo. Theater mm -hmm. comes from the most high. Mm -hmm. This is a theater. This, mm -hmm. is, a, this is a movie. Mm -hmm. did, did the God, the, did the most high know that Adam was going to go off? Of course. Like the most high said, like we, we planted that seed for him to go off. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Did the most high know? That's the reason why it was written in Deuteronomy 28. Uh huh. And, and we fulfilled it when we came over here. Did he know that we was going to sin and go up? Mm -hmm. Of course. Because think about it this way. The Messiah was talked about in Deuteronomy the 18th chapter. Mm -hmm. Genesis the 49th chapter. Mm -hmm. If Israel was to keep the law perfectly, Yahamashai wouldn't have to come. Right. Why would he have to come? Right. So did the Most High know that we was going to sin and go off and need a Savior? Yep. Yep. It was already written. It was already it set was up. Written. It you was written. Was written. Yeah. That's why the scripture says the elect was predestinated for the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. So this is a, this is just a movie. It's a person. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? When you get deeper in the knowledge, you understand this is a game. This is a movie. This mm -hmm. is a theater. Mm -hmm. We just have to pray we on the right and not right. the left. You see what I'm saying? Esau, he was crazy. Sounds like the Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you're right. Because Esau, he was created to play the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't understand that. Mm -hmm. he, he, through, through his uh, unwise mind, He's gonna sidestep the prophecy mm -hmm. and somehow set up his new world order. Mm -hmm. That's the lie he did. Yeah. That's the lie he's believing. Yeah, that's the lie he's believing. Yeah, he's believing his lie. He, 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 can't, yeah. he, can't, he, can't, he can't do that. That's right. He's just a puppet on a string. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just like how the Heavenly Father built up the ancient Pharaoh, he built up his pride. Oh, and that proves that. As a matter of fact, Proverbs 21 well, and 1. Yeah. Mm hmm. Good, good time. You need this book, man, to mm. understand everything that's going on here. Mm. Mm. I'm proud of this brother. You retain yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's coming along nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, because if you, if you don't continue through the ages with your life getting this word, mm -hmm. you're, you're not going to be able to set, I concur. Set, set yourself into a knowledgeable level of understanding. Yeah. Because see, a wisdom and, and, and knowledge is only going to come You'll never understand this. No, you, you're right. And that, that's why I told you. You're, some, you know, you read it, but not everything you read you understand. So that's why that's why you need a teacher. That's a, that's the majority of our people. They yeah. read, right. yeah. but they don't understand. Yeah. Because yeah. if they read, they would understand mm -hmm. that they're Israelites. Yep. They understand that Jesus or Yahweh Shai is only for them. Mm -hmm. so they want to include everybody. Mm -hmm. Both sides are not including no everybody, yeah, but right. these people here. That's right. That's the purpose, man. That's right. The white man got mad at me when I told him, I told him at my job, I was at E Trade. So he got mad. They suspended me for this, you know. Well, you know, not really for that, but you know, they, they, they suspended me. Yeah, they suspended me. So, so they, they were talking religion. They, they, they made it very clear you're not supposed to talk religion right. on the job. So I said, so, so, so he said, he said, he said, he said, who do you think Jesus looked like? Oh, I don't know, he's talking all this thing. I said, man, Jesus Christ looked just like me. You worshiping me. You know what I'm saying? I said, read it in the Bible. 
You understand? I, I said, you know, you know one thing I noticed with all these white churches when they preach and the thing, they never give the description of Jesus Christ. Of course they, not, because they in know. the Bible. Yeah, they never because do they that. know it's in yeah. the Bible. I mean you just yeah. got our people, just got our yeah. people. <laughs> Some of them know now that the Lord is is, is a black man. Mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. 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 I'm gonna add something to this. Take the Catholic Church. What Bible do they read? King James Version. Yeah, King James Version. What is the president sworn in on? King James Version. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at the hypocrisy here, if they don't want to acknowledge Jesus in his color, you see, why would they have the Bible? Because they're not even doing what they're doing. No, but it is in the Bible, but I, they don't read it. I know, but They don't read that part. I know, but you're not trying to Yeah. See, I'm saying that they do not do what the Bible tells them. Right, yeah, exactly. See, see, exactly. When you don't do it, you're a hypocrite. Yeah. Because you've got this right in front of you, yep. but you ain't learning a damn thing because you don't want to. You're, you're a law breaker of the Lord, yeah. It is yeah, spirit, right? It's not of our spirit. Mm hmm See, so. I concur. Like, like the brother said, see, they're on the left hand side. Mm hmm see? And they're not going to get this. They understand that they know that they're not people of the Lord, but they can't accept that. Mm hmm They cannot accept that. Because mm -hmm. that's why that brother got mad. Because <laughs> they can't accept that we're, we're not the people because they're running things. Yeah. See? And they think because they're running things. His time is, his time is there. Because <laughs> it's time for me to rule. That's right. Yeah. But see, bro, like we yeah. learned earlier, it's time for me to rule, bro. In, order, in order for us to rule, we got to get tested. Yeah. Oh. That's right. Because our king, yep. Yahweh Shai, he got tested. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't want to go on that cross, but he had to do it. Yeah, so, yeah. So he had to do it, yeah. man. Good. You see what I'm saying? He had, yeah. Like he said, I have the power to call down legions of angels yeah but he didn't do it he went through it yeah and it must be hard for you to have power and for people to ridicule you beat you yeah and you got to swallow that you yeah. see what i'm saying like the bible said he was a perfect example for us to follow yeah well, so my advice to you when you're on a job mm -hmm. it goes for other brothers out there mm -hmm. just do your job mm -hmm. nine to five you say good morning yeah good morning yeah oh you seen the game last night yeah i seen the game you being wise as a serpent mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying well, but if he say yo we having a gathering after work you want no Mm -hmm. no, I'm busy. I got uh, something yeah. to do. No, we ain't yeah. coming. In. I'm never socially or spiritually coming together with you. But when I'm on the job, am, yeah, we'll That's work nine yeah. to five. Absolutely. Yeah, be a little BS conversation. Yes. I'm talking yep. BS conversation. Yep. Yep. But that's it. You talk football, baseball. That's it. That's it. That's it. You're right. That's how I operate, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. I see the brother right there. Yo, we talk, boom and bam, we happen to meet him, yeah. but that's about it. Yeah. Well, that's, just a that's about it. Yeah. White, black, it doesn't matter. Read that. Matthew okay. 10, 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. All these people are wolves. Mm -hmm. You see know what I'm saying? The white man is a chief wolf. He'll smile in your face. Mm -hmm. He'll do Behind mm -hmm. your back, back you could have, you could imagine what these these, mm -hmm. like, these crackers say behind closed doors. Uh huh. Uh huh. It says, um, be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. The scripture says. If at all be possible, try to be peaceably with all men. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? We got to use wisdom in this time. Yeah. You know what I mean? When we're on a job, like you had some other brothers, some, you know, young. And I used to be this way too, younger. Mm -hmm. When you when you come into this, you want to tell everybody and you tell people on mm -hmm. your job, don't, don't, don't do that. No, 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 Negroes, no, yeah. There were some Negroes who can't tell mm -hmm. the truth, man. You no, 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 yeah, yeah. You gotta use it. That's your place of work where you make your money. Yeah, yeah, you no, make no. your money. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I'm glad you said that. Yeah. I'm you glad you said that. Land. See all the brothers that came in this unit? Yeah, yeah. All the brothers that came in this unit. Yeah, yeah, the Israelites. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah I, right, I, I right, seen them here this right. Saturday well, sometimes. They, they always visit me right here in Whole Foods. Now mm -hmm. says in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Now, what he was showing you was being wise as a serpent, homeless as a... Mm -hmm. They come in ordering. Mm -hmm. They make a circle right around the area where I'm eating. And everybody's looking. All the white people are looking. But because we're older and because we, we are not stirring up anything, they're not being offensive to the white people. They we're just talking about the Bible. We're talking about our thing. Mm -hmm. we, we set up a vibration there that now they, they're used to. The people you see them coming, they say, oh, you brother. Oh, this is the uh, You see you see what happened? Mm -hmm. See what this see what is doing. Okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The vibration of the Lord. See, if you use wisdom and knowledge, it's just those, those I like that. The time, that's what you're going to get. Wisdom and knowledge, what you just told me. I like that. Yeah. So, so if we use that wisdom and knowledge, be so I got to be a wise, force all the time. Right, be a wise as a serpent, gotcha. harmless. We were harmless down there, you understand? I got you. We were not offensive. See, and that's what these people were afraid of, and they got, they got calmed down. So these brothers, were, they came and asked us questions. Yes, we're the Israelite brothers. We, 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 we teach the truth. To mm -hmm. 
whether they understand it or not. You know right. what I said? Whether they understand it or not. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 See, and you got you got to do that. Yeah. That's why I complimented those brothers. I said, y'all keep coming down because we don't settle for vibration in that store. Yeah. <laughs> you see, that's, that's yeah. how powerful the truth is. You know yeah. that, brother. Yeah. Because yeah. these brothers come down there, man, and they make a circle. Next time they come up, I'm gonna do a Mario mode. That means come to attention. Mario, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say, not loud, but it just in a light tone. How about I show me how to drive up the box? Maybe you're improving. See, that's to send out a full vibration. Mm hmm. Still playing, and, see, orderly. Orderly vibration. Out of the camera? Oh, yeah, it's still playing. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, yeah. So, so that's how little things like that can become big things. Mm hmm. Because a lot, a lot of people ask me this, this little Jewish girl said, I, I've always known that the, 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 the most high, uh, the son Jesus was black. I said, how do you learn that? She said, it, it just makes sense. Because white people can't, can't be in the sun but so long. <laughs> it makes sense. Exactly. Of color. And Moses, how did Moses pass from Egypt? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Come on, man. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, they need to be that, cuts, that, that cuts them. Sure, sure, man. You know what I mean? But like we were saying, no, 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 no. and that's another good topic to bring out too. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of brothers out there who think it's all about just cursing out the white man. No, mm -hmm. the truth is, no, no, it's, yeah. it's deeper than that. Sure. Absolutely. We all got to act in a certain way. Got to all act in order. You know what I mean? I concur on that. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Like yeah. the Lord was, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. yeah, anybody can come out here and just curse out the white man. Yeah. Yeah. In our day-to-day -day life, we got to try to be a hollow shot. Like mm -hmm. right, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, when you're on your job, you know, you just use wisdom, you know? Yeah. yeah. But absolutely. we ain't coming together with you. Yeah. So that's just that. They don't even got to know what you believe. No, 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 no. They don't even no, got to know yep, all that. Yep, it's, not, I don't. it's not important. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm, I'm here to work, do my job, yeah. and I'm going home. Yep. Right. Absolutely. It, man. absolutely. Now, you, got it. you see, in the, in the book of Psalms, 512, just read that last page, book of Psalms. Oh, the book of Psalms, yeah, I got it. See, when you have the shield... I got a Psalms, yeah, I got a Psalms book. Yeah, no, he's going to read this. Mm -hmm. I don't have my Bible with me. Uh, Psalms 512, that last verse. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous, see? and favor will thou compass him as with a shield. And read the prefix. The prefix says, Psalms, Psalms of... Now, what Psalms is that? Psalms of David. Fifth chapter, 12th mm -hmm. verse. Mm -hmm. 12th verse, okay. You have a prefix of it? Mm -hmm. You don't have a prefix. Yeah. It says, says, says it's the Psalms of David. Oh, I like that. The, the prefix. Yeah, I think, uh, I forgot, I was going to another scripture. Psalm. Yeah, it says, the chief musician upon exactly. Nehola, a Psalm of David. See, this is a Psalm mm -hmm. of David. See, you can see right with that scripture, David showed you that this is a shield, not a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's the one who, who shows that he has the symbol of the Lord's protection. Yeah. This is a shield. That's what a shield does. Yes, protect. you bet. Yeah. That's it, brother. What, how much minutes is on? 4438. 4438? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So. All right, well. Because how you call it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. So, um. John chapter 12, verse 31. 31, mm -hmm. yeah. says it says now is the judgment of this world now shall the prince of this world be cast out and who's that Esau mm -hmm.